Genie Engineers, in this video we're going to do a lot of practice problems for soil classification. Now if you're here for the first time and you just want to learn about engineering or just how to engineer your life better, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now let's get started. Oh yeah, everybody now. Okay guys, so in this video we're going to cover problems using Ashto. This is the second part of the first video where we covered problems using USCS. As I mentioned before, I split this video into two parts because it was a little bit too long and I like to keep the video short so that way you focus and grasp the material better. Now don't forget to do the problems with me as you go because the best way to learn something is by doing it. Question number seven, using Astro system classify the soil. So we have percentage passing. Again, the same thing as the USCS, the first thing you look at is the sieve number 200. Now here is giving us 37% that's passing. This is actually a easier Ashto. There's a, the, they only use one term which is passing. They even show it with the signs. So for these uh, categories, it has to be greater or equal to 36. And then for here, it's less than or equal to 35. So on this, we have 37. That means it's greater or equal to 36. So it's going to be any uh, one of these groups right here. After that, we're going to look at the liquid limit. So my liquid limit here is 42. So that's going to be uh, either A75, a76 or a5 because uh, it's all they all greater than 41 it has to be greater than 41 so let me uh, let me write it down so we have so first we said it's going to be silt clay because it's greater than uh, this we determined this from the 200 C and then we said it's going to be either a5 um, a75 or A76, right? Because the liquid limit is greater than 41. Okay. Now, after determining that, then now we're going to look at the PI. So PI here, notice that we don't need to calculate anything because PI is already given, it's equal to 20. So the PI here, it has to be less than 10. So I already know that A5, I'm going to cancel it because my, it doesn't satisfy my PI. Now PI here, uh, A75 and A76 is greater than 11, so that works. But which one? Is it A75 or A76? If you look at down here, it gives you that if it's uh, equal to, if the subgroup or the PI equal to or less than, L liquid limit minus 30, then it's A75. But if it's greater than, we have A76. So my PI is 20. And uh, I have to see, so I have 42 minus 30. And this is equals to 12, right? So 20 is greater than 12. So if it's equal to or less, so that doesn't work. So it's greater than, right? So I have A76, so that's going to be A76. That's my answer. But I still need to calculate the GI. So I already know the answer is going to be either B or C. But I need to find the GI for to be able to answer uh, the question. So my GI is equal to, so we, this is the equation is right here. We have F. F is just your percentage uh, for number 200, for sieve number 200. So I have 37 minus 35. And then we're going to do times 0 0.2 plus 0 0.005 times your liquid limit, which is 42 minus 40. We're going to close the parentheses. Then we're going to add 0 0.01 times F, which is 37 minus 15, times the PI, which is 20 minus 10. Now this gives about 2.62. 
But remember, one of the rules for GI is that you already, always have to round up. So if it's 2.62, we're going to round it up to 3. So your answer is going to be B. A76 with a GI of 3. Problem 8, we have 45% passing sieve number 200. So that's going to be anywhere under this category, either A456 or 7. Um, let me write that down. So it's going to be A4 to A7. After that, we have um, liquid limit of 40. So it has to be equal to 40. So A5 and A7 don't work. So we just it's going to be either A4 or A6. So either A4 or A6. This is... Um, because of the liquid limit is equal to 40. So next we need to uh, determine the plasticity index. Um, this is actually a PL, that was a mistake. Okay, so PI would be equal to 40 minus 27, which equals to 13. So once you determine your PI, then we can uh, see which group it is. So we have 13, so that means it's greater than 10 or greater than 11, so that's going to be A6. So our answer is going to be A6. So it's either B or C. We still need to calculate GI. So GI is going to be um, F, which is the percentage passing 200 sieve. So I have 45 minus 35 times 0 0.2 plus 0 0.005 times my liquid limit, which is 40 minus 40. So notice that this is going to be zero uh, plus 0 0.01 times F, which is 45 minus 15 times pi, which is 13 minus 10, which equals to 2.9. So remember, we always have to round up, so that's going to be equal to 3. So our answer is C, A6 with a GI of 3. Okay, last problem. So we have, again, similar. So we're going to look at sieve number 200. So we have 57% that's passing. Uh, again, it's going to be under uh, these categories between A4 to A7. So let's write it down, A4, let me change color. To A7. Then we are going to look at uh, our liquid limit, which is 37. So that's going, to, so that's less than 40. Um, so it's going to be either A4 or A6. Oh, sorry, my bad, A6. And then after that, we are going to determine PI. Again, we're going to do PI, which is 37 minus 18 which is 19. Now with that, we are, so 19, that's going to be greater than 11. So it's going to be a six. Now, once you determine that, now we need to find GI. Again, we do the same thing. We do um, 57 minus 35 times 0 0.2 plus 0 0.005 times the liquid limit, which is 37 minus 40 plus 0 0.01. F is the percentage of sieve 200, which is 37 minus 15 times PI, which is 18 minus 10. So this should give you 7.85 which we will round up to eight. So the answer is C, A6 with a GI of eight. Okay, so for homework, I would like you guys to do this problem. Um, 
is very similar to what we did. So we have four soil samples and um, for each sample, you're giving all the data that you need. So the percentage passing for C4, uh, 200, sometimes you will need 40, liquid limit and the plastic limit. And you need to classify all this sample using USCS and using ASHTEL. Once I see a lot of you answered this question, I will post the answer below in the comments. And so hopefully that can help you uh, kind of see what you did and gives you more problems to practice. Now, if you have any question or is there a specific problem that you would like me to go over, please leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and make sure to share with your friends who might find it helpful. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you soon. À la prochaine.